um, what they're asking you guys to do is to multiply these. Now, obviously, when we look at these just as they're written out, we don't really make too much of an understanding of how am I going to multiply these. However, Caroline, what I can do is when I'm going to look at this, I can rewrite them. Right? By using my identities, my reciprocal, my quotient, my Pythagorean, I can rewrite them. We already talked about tangent. There's a lot of different ways to rewrite tangent, right? I could use Pythagorean, I could use a reciprocal, I could use the quotient. There's a lot of different ways we could rewrite this using our identities. Since I've worked through a lot of these problems, what I'm going to use is I'm going to decide to use this as the quotient identity. So I'm going to rewrite tangent squared as sine squared of theta over cosine squared of theta. Now, if you decided to do something else, that's OK. You could have done that. All right. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite my cosecant and my cosine, or I'm going to rewrite my cosecant at using the reciprocal identity because sometimes we'll get into this, into this more of converting things to sines and cosines. But for right now, Ahmad, I'm just going to kind of focus on rewriting that as one over sine of theta times cosine of theta. Okay. Now, when we go ahead and simplify this, you guys can see that the sine squared and the sine, that goes and eliminates out, right? When I have here this cosine, and those are going to multiply out because that's a cosine in the numerator over cosine denominator. Therefore, you guys can see I'm just left with sine of theta over cosine of theta. And I can simplify sine of theta over cosine of theta as tangent of theta. So that would be my simplified answer. Make sense? Kind of? Maybe a little bit? Mas o menos? Yes? Um, why didn't you do the reciprocal of cosine squared? You could have done it that way as well. You could have rewrite that as 1 over cotangent squared and then worked it that way if you wanted to as well. OK? Because then if you would have done 1 over um, cotangent, well, I mean, you, you, it's going to be a little bit different process. But as I mentioned, there's multiple different ways to look at this. I looked at this and I said, all right, if I rewrite tangent as sine over cosine, I now know that cosine's going to be in the denominator. I already have a cosine in the numerator, so I know those will divide out, right? And then I'll have sine in the numerator. One cosine, cosecant gives me sine in the denominator, so those will cancel out. So I started thinking ahead. And the only way you're going to start thinking ahead and seeing those is through practicing these types of problems. All right? It's not going to be something that's going to come initially right off. You're going to have to try doing some of these to be able to see what's the best